Welcome to this installment of the Excite Pro tutorial series. Part of the problem of maintaining a healthy, active, fresh website lies in coming up with lots of good content that will keep visitors coming back over and over again. But what you may not realize is not all content that appears on your site need necessarily be written by you, and that's where RSS content comes in. While RSS might sound like a scary technical abbreviation, what it actually means is really simple syndication, and simple is exactly what Excite Pro gives you, letting you easily add content written by others by inserting what are known as RSS feeds. An RSS feed is quite simply a source of constantly updated content from another source. Everyone from a large news organization like CNN to an obscure blog can publish a feed of their content and you can take advantage of these to display fresh, new content on your site. In addition to you not personally having to write all the content, a major advantage to this is that all these third-party articles and blog posts are themselves constantly updated, without you as the site's administrator having to lift a finger. In addition to keeping your customers happy by serving fresh content to them, there's another positive benefit to using feeds. Search engines partially rank websites according to their freshness, that is, how often a site's content changes. RSS feeds can keep your site looking fresh for you, automatically. Okay, let's get straight to the business of adding a feed to our page in Excite Pro. Just navigate to a page where you'd like to insert the feed. Our Mac-related site could do with some new interesting articles, so we'll go there. Just place your cursor in the appropriate spot, right-click, and choose RSS Feed Wizard or just click the corresponding button on your toolbar. The wizard appears, and right away we can see that Excite Pro features a comprehensive listing of RSS feeds for you, a thousand in all. To make sure that you have the latest set of feeds, take a quick moment to update your list by clicking Update Feed List. Okay, looks like we're already up to date. As you can see, you can choose feeds from a wide array of categories. Let's scroll down to IT Tech to see if there's a Macintosh-related feed here. Here we go. Macintosh news for Moreover Technologies. That would be a good choice. Please also bear in mind that you don't have to select a mainstream source. There are lots of smaller sites and blogs that offer RSS feeds. Look here on DealMac.com, a site that publishes user-submitted tips on the best online deals for Mac hardware and software. On their RSS page, you can, for example, get a link to their seven most recent deals. I can copy the link, go back into my RSS wizard, and choose Add New Feed. I give it a name, paste in the URL, and add a description if desired, and the feed then appears in my custom feeds. Now that we've got our feed selected, Choose Next to adjust your style settings. As you can see, you've got a live preview that automatically updates itself as you adjust its settings. First off, you should set the maximum number of items to display, or simply check to display them all. In our case, it doesn't really matter as the feed itself only ever contains the most recent seven. Open links in a new window will keep users from navigating away from the site as they check some of these articles out, so I would recommend checking that option. And, show podcasting links when available will include links to podcasts with other feed items if available. Next, we have the aesthetic choices. Pick a custom width, or simply choose 100% for it to span the entire width of the current pane. Let's pick a different background color just to set it apart a bit. And of course, you can also change the various border and indentation options, but I think this looks good. If you scroll down a little, notice that you also have total control over all the elements for each listing, including channel, header, date, and descriptions. With the exception of the header, which comprises your link, you have the option of hiding any or all of these, as well as adjusting things like color, size, and font information. Descriptions can be complete or limited to a certain number of characters. When everything looks good, just click Insert, and it's all there when we preview. 
as with all page objects, your RSS feed can be adjusted merely by right-clicking the placeholder and choosing RSS feed properties. Using RSS, you can leverage the work of others to help give you a robust site that's filled to the brim with relevant, constantly updated content.